You are born into this world Looking down the barrel of a gun And those who hold a gun want you to work fast and die young And if you don't work, if you don't obey They'll make you live in fear till your dying day Those who gather hold a gun Religions, corporations, proud of love they've shared Going back to 1989 for a track from Max Q called Way of the World. Now, I'm going to draw a bit of a bow here, but you know, tonight's the De La Soul J-Files, right? Hip-hop icons. And we're celebrating, I guess, the fact that De La Soul's catalogue has turned up on streaming services and finally new generations can immerse themselves in the De La Soul catalogue. I was looking for this song on a streaming platform that I will not name uh, earlier this week and you can't find it these Max Q tunes and this was such a very specific interesting random Australian pop project yeah you can't find them on the streaming services I wonder why it's a shame but yeah Max Q if you weren't around in the 80s or you're not have ever been curious about this you know that voice right that's the voice of Michael Hutchins lead singer of In Excess Michael Hutchins didn't do heaps of musical activity outside of In Excess. 
But in the mid-80s, with a good friend and collaborator Ollie Olsen, put out a couple of big tunes as Max Q, including this one, Way of the World. So I want to tell you a little bit about Michael Hutchinson's offsider in this project, Ollie Olsen. So Ollie Olsen, a composer, multi-instrumentalist and pioneer of electronic music and synthesizer sounds. Ollie grew up in the suburbs of Melbourne where he studied under avant-garde composer Felix Verder. He learned the principles of synthesis and developed an affection for electronic music. And Ollie Olsen, pretty much ever since, has been an underground hero of experimental and electronic music, particularly in the underground in Melbourne. Uh, in the 70s, Ollie Olsen had projects like uh, Whirly World, where he was one of only a handful of little bands in Melbourne that were bringing synthesizers in and moving them up against jangly guitars and drums to see what it sounded like. He was pioneering with sounds, pioneering with pop. That led to collaborations with all sorts of people like Nick Cave and Paul Grabowski and eventually led to him working on the film Dogs in Space in 1986 a cult Australian film starring the late Michael Hutchins. That's where Ollie Olsen and Michael Hutchins became friends and they went on to form Max Q. That song you heard, Way of the World, was pretty big and it was kind of Ollie Olsen's touching point for the mainstream. But around that, decades of tireless work as a champion of the underdog in electronic and experimental music in Melbourne. There was one other track actually that Ollie helped Michael Hutchins with, this song. Now, you want to talk odd moments in Australian pop history that have fallen through the cracks? This is a track you don't hear very often. It's Michael Hutchins, a solo single he put out in the 80s called Rooms for the Memory. Now, I think this is between Dogs in Space and Max Q. They managed to get this track out, and Ollie was the writer of this track, formative in crafting its electronic soundscape. And there is a new version of this song that has just been recorded and released. This song, Rooms for the Memory, from 1987. It's back with Adelita out front singing vocals. Now, the reason why this is happening is because Ollie Olsen, as you may know, has actually been diagnosed recently with multiple system atrophy. It's a degenerative terminal neurological condition. And this song, this reimagined version of Rooms for the Memory, is a chance to pay tribute to Ollie, pay tribute to the late Michael Hutchins, but also there's a GoFundMe campaign that's running to raise funds for Ollie Olsen's medical costs. I want to play you this track. It's not often you get Adelita, um, you know, on board with something. It's got to be pretty important when she's around. And she does this song justice, this track from back in the 80s. She finds her way into it. Mick Harvey is also involved, as I believe he was in the original recording as well. I thought you might want to hear it, right? 